Hi guys, it's Melissa, and I just want to talk to you about two of the top blockchain platforms, the first being Cardano and the second being Ethereum. I just want to focus on what these prob the problems that these cryptos are trying to solve and how it can transform the digital currencies and apps. As always, everything said here is my personal opinion, and I am not a financial advisor. Now, let's get into some of the basic differences between Cardano and Ethereum. There are some things I do want to highlight when talking about Cardano, and that is that it is not just a cryptocurrency. It's, it's a technology platform that will be capable of running financial applications currently used every day by individuals, organizations, and governments all around the world. Cardano will also run decentralized applications, services that aren't controlled by a single party, but instead they operate on a blockchain. It's being called Ethereum of Japan and Ethereum Killer. Cardano's cryptocurrency is called ADA. All ADA is pre-mined, so there's no mining in Cardano. However, there are some mined and reserved to award the stakers that will verify operations on ADA network. Cardano has this unique concept that they adopted from Dash, where they will have an account for funding their project, which will be self-funded automatically, so they don't need to go through ICO phases when the funds run out. Cardano, it uses proof of stake instead of proof of work, which requires a lot of energy. This makes it cheaper to run and almost as secure. It is led by Charles Hoskinson, who was previously the CEO of, the of Ethereum. So this gives a really good chance for Cardano to be successful. It seems like Charles identified weaknesses of Ethereum and he used it to improve Cardano so it can be like the third generation of blockchain. This will be the first blockchain project to be developed from a scientific philosophy and the only one to be designed and built by a global team of leading academic en engineers. It is essential that the technology it runs securely, it's flexible and scalable for use by the many millions of users. Now, here are some things I want to highlight about Ethereum. Similarly to Cardano, Ethereum is a decentralized platform. It runs smart contracts, applications that run exactly as programmed without any possibility of downtime, censorship, fraud, or third-party interference. These apps run on a custom-built blockchain, an enormously powerful shared global infrastructure that can move value around and represent the ownership of property. Ethereum's cryptocurrency is called Ether. Ether is a necessary element. It's, it's a fuel for operating the distributed application platform, Ethereum. It's a form of payment made by the clients of the platform to the machines executing the requested operations. Ethereum is currently using proof of work, which requires mining and it is expensive due to high energy cost. Also, the current consensus model, it, the transaction confirmation time is slow and not scalable. You may recall the new app called CryptoKitty, which actually slowed down the entire Ethereum network. However, the Ethereum team is planning to shift from proof of work to proof of stake. Introducing proof of stake is, is going to make the blockchain a lot faster because it is much more simple to check who has the most stake than to see who has the most hashing power. However, I feel it's taking a long time for Ethereum to solve this scalability issue, so other solutions like Cardano are coming up with better solutions. The Enterprise Ethereum Alliance connects Fortune 500 enterprises, startups, academics, and technology vendors with Ethereum subject matter experts. Total membership exceeds 150 organizations in less than seven months. They have a robust community from all around the world. Many successful apps have been created based on Ethereum, which includes 10X, Amicio, Golem, and CryptoKitties. So there you have it. We have discussed both blockchain platforms. I personally think Cardano has a better solution, which may take them to the top blockchain platform cryptocurrency. And or Ethereum doesn't act fast to solve their scalability issues, I think Cardano's definitely going to take the further step. But please do your own research before investing in them. If you do decide to buy, you can buy Cardano and Ethereum at Binance Exchanges, and the links are below in the description box. 
Have you guys invested in Cardano or Ethereum? And do you have any thoughts, any pros or cons? I think that would be helpful. Put them down in the comments below. I'd love to see your comments if you have invested or not. So please do leave a comment below. And if you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to click like. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. And there's a little bell that you can click so that every time a video is uploaded, you can get notified and you can see them right away. As always, I appreciate your support and thank you so much for watching.